What's going on, guys? Hey, first off, I just want to apologize because I haven't been putting that many videos out lately. I've just been uh, extremely busy with work lately, man. Just working long hours, working uh, multiple days in a row without a day off. So, I haven't had a chance to get out there and go fishing and put some content out there for you guys. But I'm starting to get some content now, so I'm making a couple videos coming up for you guys. But in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how I like to catch whiting. And it's very simple, pretty easy to do, and the fish are very delicious, so I'll tell you how I like to catch whiting and where what area of the beaches do I like to fish and catch most of the whiting. Now looking here, I'm gonna show you this. I did it I did a little quick drawing for you guys, so now this is the beach. And usually I like to fish by the rip currents. And you know here's a sandbar. And where I catch most of my whiting here usually is in actually the first trough and the first gut, which is right here usually next to the beach. Could be about Five ten yards off the beach could be a little longer, could be a little shorter. You just gotta look for them holes in the beach. But this right here, in these spots, is usually I catch most of my uh, my whiting. Out here, I caught plenty of reds and pompano and everything. But you can catch them in the first holes too. It, it doesn't really matter. You just gotta locate the fish and see where they're running. All right, though. Without further ado, here's the video. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the B roll dropping in three, two, one. Alright guys, first line out, going out right now. Let's get it baby. I'm doing is uh boy have all these rods at different distances and we're trying to locate where the fish are at some could be in the first trough some could be past the second sandbar we're gonna see you gotta find the fish and all I'm doing is peel shrimp and just threading it on the hook on my uh I think this is a size one circle hook mustad Right in the first gut. Let's try to get these rods rigged up. Just keep an eye out on these rods. You never know when they're gonna hit. I made all these rigs previous last night. I like to take a lot with me. At least like five or six spares. You never know when you're gonna break off or you're gonna throw your line and it snaps off on you. Anything like that's possible, you know, in fishing. It's a nice warm day, guys. Cold front's probably finally gone. The so water's finally warming back up again. The bite should start getting hot. On. Fish y'all. All ready. Hope it ain't what I think it is. I don't know if it's I feel like it got off. I think it got off again. Nope. Got one. A nice little widen. Can get the big camera, baby. Please. Alright, guys, first fish of the day. Got a nice little golf 
Gulf Coast whiting. This ain't a kingfish. This is this ain't a little king. This is actual whiting. Not sure what type, but it's got the spot on its tail. And these things are excellent to eat, guys. I'm not having Hi right, guys, here's the first whiting of the day. They're very slippery. This is very good table fare, very good white meat. So I'm gonna put them in the cooler. Might fry them up later on the night. First fish of the day, guys. Surf fishing is really heating up right now. It's got another whiting, and even though I had it on, this is my end rod. So my end rod was slack. But I got another nice whiting. Just on fish bites, I believe. So, we'll cast this guy back there, see if I can get another one. Another nice, nice, beautiful whiting. These fish right here, guys, are very easy to catch. All you need to know is throw some fish spice or some peel shrimp and maybe the first gut of the beach. Most of the time you'll be able to catch these bad boys. And these things are delicious to eat. Very good, very white meat. Very good in the fryer, guys. Kind of resembles a redfish. Woo, very slippery too. But we'll put him in a cooler. I think I got a fish on one of these rods. Got a bunch of slack in it, so. Go ahead and test it out. Yeah, got a fish on this one, guys. Got another whiting. Another, 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 another whiting. I think I'm gonna let this guy go, he's just kind of small. It's gone. That's a Ah, come here, buddy. Guess he was there. This thing hit like a ton of bricks for a second. Oh, it was a pop on the way it hit. That's a nice whitey. That ride's going up. Head shakes. Don't know if it's a pop or not. Running the beat, huh? They ain't taking drag, so.
Let's see what it is. It's right here. Another big whiting. Big whiting. That's a big whiting. This is stud whiting, guys. Can you uh, have that big camera, babe? This guy almost so big, almost looks like a redfish. How you doing? Guys, look at this whiting. This thing is an absolute stud. I'm gonna get a measurement on him, see how much he weighs. I got a scale actually in my tackle bag. I'm gonna see how much this guy weighs and how long he is. It's almost like a dang redfish, is so big. Let me get a picture. This is how long this mug is. Fourteen inches. Big whiting. 